Yo, what's going on guys? Kultimush back at it with top 5 best graphics cards for the money. I haven't updated this series in I don't know how long, so many things have changed, new video cards, new pricing, and although a lot of things have changed, a lot of things are gonna change in the next few weeks and months. So I'll try to be a bit better with updating this series because I think what we're gonna see at this time next month is gonna be very different than what we see now. So with all that out of the way, let's get right into this with number 5. Number 5 is the EVGA GeForce GTX 950. This is a 2GB video card, and right now over on Newegg you can pick it up for $120 after a mail-in rebate. The GTX 950 has always been a pretty decent mid-range video card, but now that it's down to $120, I think it's a really good pickup if you're looking for a budget-oriented video card. Now this video card is by no means a world beater. I actually have some benchmarks of this GPU on my channel, so if you want some more in-depth performance, you can check those out. But in general, if you're trying to play higher end games like Witcher 3, Fallout 4, you can play those games at 1080p, but you'll have to play like medium to high settings, and you'll get around 35 to 40 frames per second, which is better than the consoles at least. But it's not really that definitive PC gaming experience, and it is more resembling of a console. But if that's what you're looking for, or you're looking to just play lower end games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, the GTX 950 is not a bad option. And this is a pretty good video card to get if say you have an older pre-built computer, and you just want to throw in a lower end GPU in it with maybe an upgraded power supply, then the 950 is not a bad option for the price. Moving on, the MSI Radeon R9 380 is a very good deal right now. The 4 gigabyte video card could be found for $160 over on Newegg. That's a very good price for the R9 380. This is another video card that I do have some benchmarks of on my channel, so you guys can check those out if you're interested. But in short, a video card like the R9 380 is going to really let you start seeing the benefits of PC gaming, meaning you'll be gaming at 1080p and you can play the higher end games at relatively high settings and get 45 to 50 frames per second. Now for some of you that may not be ideal, but now with this GPU being only $160, this is a very good option in a mid-range build. And right now there's not a lot of options in that $140 to $180 price range, but the R9 380 does act as a pretty good GPU for only $160 after a mail-in rebate. Moving on to number 3, you guys know that the RX 480 had to be a part of this list. Right now, the XFX 4GB model is going for around $200. Unfortunately, in most places, the RX 480 is completely out of stock, but it should be coming back in stock pretty soon. And I'm recommending the 4GB model over the 8GB model because it is around $40 to $50 cheaper. And I think the gamer that the RX 480 attracts is those of you that want a game at 1080p. I know AMD has been kind of promoting the RX 480 as a 1440p video card. I don't think it's a good idea picking up the RX 480 to do 1440p gaming, but for 1080p gaming, it's an absolute monster for the price. And at 1080p, 4 gigabytes is gonna be fine. And as far as performance goes on the RX 480, it's a bit better or comparable to the GTX 970, which for $200 is excellent. The GTX 970 is still being sold for like $260 to $270. This GPU is only $200 and it has a full 4 gigabytes. I know somebody was gonna make that joke in the comments, so I thought I'd just steal it. But regardless, the RX 480, if you guys can find it in stock, it's a great option for a mid-range gaming PC. And what the RX 480 is doing is pretty great. It's essentially making high quality 1080p gaming accessible to just about everyone. This is a video card you can fit in even a $600 gaming PC, and the fact that we can get this kind of performance out of a $600 PC is just pretty ridiculous. But I digress, you guys probably know what's up with this GPU at this point. Moving on to number 2, which is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070. Right now on Amazon, they are saying it's gonna be in stock on July 10th, so you guys can order it now. If you guys have any interest in this video card, I would highly recommend ordering it, because as soon as it comes back in stock, I think it's gonna go out of stock fairly quickly. I have a GTX 1070 myself, I have the one from MSI, and guys, it's an absolute beast. It can do 1440p gaming pretty well. On some of the higher end games, if you do max them out, you will get around 50 frames per second. But at that point, for me, the games just look so freaking good that I was like, alright, 50 frames is more than enough for me if a game's gonna look this great. And even then, with those higher end games at 1440p, if you decide to lower the settings just a bit, you will get that smoother 60 FPS. And if for whatever reason you decide to buy the GTX 1070 for 1080p gaming, this GPU will destroy everything you throw at it. I should say the majority of games 
games you throw at it because there are a few games that are either in early access or they were just bad ports that not even the beefiest configurations could run those games at smooth frame rates. But I digress, the GTX 1070 is a very good video card. For $430, it does come on the more pricey side, but for the kind of performance that you're getting, the price is justified. Finally, number one is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080. This GPU is going for around $630 to $650. And this is the one video card that in the States, I cannot find it in stock anywhere. If you guys are interested in either the GTX 1080, the GTX 1070, or the RX 480, I would highly recommend you go over and follow your favorite retailer on Twitter. I've noticed that Newegg especially that whenever one of these video cards go back in stock, they post a tweet and then within hours they go back out of stock. That's just something we're gonna have to deal with for the next month or two. Hopefully by the time the fall rolls around, these GPUs will be in stock readily. I have some benchmarks of the GTX 1080 on my channel, so if you guys want to check those out, feel free. And the performance of the video card is obviously really great. You're expecting really great performance if you're paying this kind of cash. However, it should be noted that NVIDIA is almost promoting the GTX 1080 as a 4K capable video card. And while it can run games at 4K, that's not the way PC gamers want to play their games. Games like Grand Theft Auto V are running at around 35 frames per second. Witcher 3 doesn't fare much better. Sure, there are games like Star Wars Battlefront that run okay, but you're not getting a premier PC gaming experience at 4K with the GTX 1080. 1080. It's just not happening. Maybe if you decide to go for an SLI configuration, but at that point you're spending over $1,000. If you're getting a GTX 1080, I would recommend stick with 1440p or get an ultra wide setup. Obviously, do not buy a 1080 for 1080p gaming. Yes, it's called the GTX 1080, but that doesn't mean it was built to run games at 1080p. And I'm sure most of you know that. At 1440p, it's gonna run games really well. 60 FPS, or at least near 60 FPS on the higher end games. And then in ultra wide, it is a bit harder to run some games. But considering how demanding ultra wide gaming is, that's not too big of a shocker. The real issue with the GTX 1080 right now is the stock. It's very hard to find, and if it does go in stock, it goes out of stock very, very quickly. So like I said, if you're interested in it, follow Newegg on Twitter, bookmark the pages on Amazon, and if you do see it back in stock, you'll probably just end up impulse buying it. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you dislike, hit the dislike button. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Peace out.